Let's talk really quick and experience some good warm-ups here for people. Um, there are different reasons for warming up. Some people warm up in the morning um, because they know they're going to be singing later on that afternoon. They're going to choir practice or they're going to have a concert or they're going to do. Warm-ups in the morning are different than warm-ups before a performance. Warm-ups in the morning, typically, you always start with your chest voice, that vocal fry, mm -mm -mm, that hum. Is, it, is the first thing I do when I wake up, vocal fry. And once I, and I, a lot of times I'll sing in the shower. Man, I love singing in the shower. Great acoustics, uh, love it. But the mm -mm -mm turns to go and make sure you're pouting underneath those lip rolls, people. Just don't. If you're not pouting, too much air is escaping. You're, you're defeating the whole purpose. You still may tilt a little bit, even if you hoot it, but you're defeating the purpose of keeping uh, that, that tone moving forward. <laughs> Warm-ups in the morning. Warm-ups for a performance is a completely other matter altogether, and we'll discuss that at a later, at a later time. But right now, let's keep those warm-ups 15 to 20 minutes in the morning, Maybe, maybe 30, it just depends on how much stamina you have. But warm up properly in the morning. Mm -mm -mm. Starting with your chest voice, closed position, mm -mm. hum, edgy, front, lip rolls, great thing to do. You don't need any scales for these people in the shower. Just It's a warm up. They're not power control scales. Okay? So that's a great warm up in the morning.